So when it comes to cellular healing, there are three areas I really want you to think about. First is one way that we can start to really heal the outer part of these cells is to look at our nutrition. And when we look at our nutrition through the lens of inflammation, the number one thing that causes your cells to inflame, this outer cellular membrane, are the wrong oils. So you've heard of insulin resistance, hopefully. Insulin resistance is where your cells can't allow insulin to push glucose in. And everybody thinks that insulin resistance is a too much sugar issue. And yeah, sugar leads to insulin resistance, but actually the number one thing that's worse than sugar for insulin resistance are the bad oils. Because every time you eat the bad oils, what you're doing is you're causing this outer cellular membrane to inflame. So the bad oils, I wrote about them in Fast Like a, G a, a Girl. I've got them in Eat Like a Girl that's out for pre-order right now. I keep coming at those bad oils as much as I can because they are the number one challenge with nutrition. So here we are over here talking about protein, which I love the, the conversation on protein, but let's go back to the basics for a hot moment. The worst thing you can do for a chronically inf inflamed body is to eat the wrong oils over and over and over again. These are your canola, your sunflower, your safflower, your vegetable oils, your soybean, partially hydrogenated. Again, there's lists in all the books that I have been writing. So the number one thing for chronic inflammation is we've got to get rid of these toxic oils and then come in with the good oils. You've heard of people who like all of a sudden are, you know, start taking an omega-3 supplement or they start eating more clean salmon and their cholesterol changes. I just heard a story about this this morning. Why did that happen? Because that person brought good oils into their body and repaired the inflammation around the outer cell. And now all the good workings inside the body can get into the cell and can actually do its job. So the first thing with nutrition is the oils. The second thing for cellular inflammation with nutrition is your sugar load. Of course, ultra processed foods. These are your highly refined sugars, your highly refined flours. They're causing the cellular inflammation. And most of the time they're mixed with the bad oils. So this is why you'll hear me over and over and over again talk about nature's carbs, nature's carbs, nature's carbs. That's what I want you to focus on is nature's carbs. These are carbs that come out of the earth, your fruits, your vegetables, they have fiber in them. So instead of going for chips or going for a piece of bread, how about you go for a carrot or for apples, something that has more fiber in it and that we move our sugar tooth over to what nature has given us. So that's the second on nutrition. And then the third on nutrition is something that you're hearing me talk more and more about, which is obesogens. In Eat Like a Girl, I have list after list after list of obesogens. And obesogens are toxins that are allowed in our food, and they are our body senses them as trauma. They're a chemical trauma to our body. And so the cells inflame. So learn how to read an ingredient lay, label. I, I, I have a whole tutorial for you on Eat Like a Girl. Of, I literally took an ingredient label and I put it in that book and I deconstructed it so that you all can figure out how to read an ingredient label because it's gotten really tricky. And so it's very difficult to be able to read ingredient labels. So when we look at cellular infl inflammation through the lens of nutrition, we have to look at those three things. Oils, carbs, what kind of carbs are you eating, and stop eating toxins, okay? Before we count calories, before we count macros, super important, okay? So that's the first category for inflammation. The second category for inflammation, I keep saying it over and over again, and I want to make sure I really highlight this because this was Bruce Lipton's work, and that is careful what you think because your thoughts can create cellular inflammation, so Bruce Lipton, you can, we did a podcast years ago with him, and you can go back and listen to that. And one of the things that he de defined in his lab was that when we think negative thoughts, it inflames the outer part of, of your cells. So who are you hanging around? What are you listening to? 
The thoughts in our brain are programmed by the environments we put ourselves in. And many, some of those environments were childhood environments that we still have those belief systems. But if you don't like the way your thoughts are, if you can't get a, an, to an optimistic place, really look at who you're letting into your brain. I brainwash myself all the time with books. I have books spread throughout my whole house. I pick them up. I read a little bit of somebody's intelligent mind. And I'm like, I want their mind in my mind right now. That's the power of books or YouTube videos or podcasts. W one of the benefits of listening to a podcast like this over and over and over again is that you start thinking in a more healthy way because my voice starts to become your voice. And I hope it becomes it in all the brilliant ways that my belief in your body if you listen to this podcast over and over and over again, you eventually start believing in your body because it starts to create a rhythm and neuroplasticity in your brain that tells you you are powerful, tells you that you can heal from anything. That's a big part of my message is that you're living in a miraculous body. But when you hang around environments that tell you you're weak, or what about a healthcare system that says that you're fine until a symptom shows up, and then once the symptom shows up, you're weak, so you better go and get a doctor to be able to tell you what the diagnosis of the symptom is and give you a medication, that's all giving our power away. And we haven't had a belief system around the body healing itself. So careful who you listen to and what you're going to allow in your brain because that creates cellular inflammation. And then the last thing I will say, I'm actually going to put this under the category of rhythm. This is a new thing that I'm talking about. When we get out of rhythm with our body, our body has to protect itself and it does that through cellular inflammation. We have circadian rhythm, we have hormonal rhythm. And when we are putting ourselves out of our natural rhythms, the body responds by inflaming. I'm not going to go into all the details on rhythm. There's a lot to unpack there. One of the greatest podcasts that I've done on circadian rhythm was Sachin Panda. So go back and listen to that. All of, you know, fast like a girl and eat like a girl about a female's hormonal rhythm. But I really want women, men need to know this too, but I really want women to understand we are rhythmic beings. We're constantly in a state of expansion and contraction, waxing and waning, very much like the moon. And so when we do the same thing over and over and over again, and we don't honor these rhythms, we end up creating an inflammatory response. So when you ask, what is inflammation? It's complicated, right? Because your body is responding with protection by shutting off the cells so good can't get in, but that also means toxins can't get out and the bad can't get out and the cell starts to dysfunction, have a dysfunctional moment. So we've got to look at those three things. What am I eating? How am I eating? You know, what kind of rhythms am I putting myself in? And what am I thinking? We have to go through that. Pro where, where is my mind going? Where am, who am I listening to? If you don't like the way you think, look at the, I really believe in this, five, the five closest people to you. What are they saying? Because you may have adopted their thought patterns. 